what you're doing. But that's not to, the way to deliver a message of God to people. Because it's like you're disturbing them. And you're telling them what, what, what they're doing. That's like you're basically what you're doing. They should be disturbed about their sin. It's like you're judging them. Well, we should judge. The, the Bible says the that the spiritual person, person judges all things. The only person is allowed to judge somebody. The only person who is allowed to judge somebody is Jesus Christ. No, Jesus said, don't judge by appearances, but use righteous judgment. So we, we all make judgments every day about different things, whether they're good or bad. So this is obviously a bad thing because it dehumanizes women and encourages men to lust. Well, so I'm, I'm using scripture, looking to God's word, and I'm judging it by what God says. He's the ultimate judge. So I looked at what he says, and I judge different situations based on what he says about reality, right? That is, that, but that is not your thing I, to say you can judge because he tell you in the Bible, do not judge. No, well, because you will be judged. He said he, he's he's warning against hypocritical judgment. So, but there the, the book of First Corinthians chapter two verse fifteen does say that the spiritual person judges all things, and so and it's just it's common sense that we all make judgments about things. Like I'm not saying like, hey, you're going to hell for sure. There's two different kinds of judging. There's the judging of where you're like pronouncing pronouncing a sentence as like a punishment like a like a judge in a courtroom and then there's the judging of just making a judgment of hey this is bad or this is good so i'm i'm judging that this is bad and i'm calling people to turn away from the bad thing to do the right thing to to run away from hell and to run towards jesus so that they don't end up in hell i'm warning them when they're in danger well, right okay so that's a good thing to do right to love people by warning them well yeah that is to do that but you not you don't blame that. See, you you to a place to you to a place of where you see there's adult entertainment. Anytime you want to tell somebody about God, you don't want to be in a place like this. You want to be in a, a place like a, a mall or somewhere where it's laid back. And these people are not going to hear that. And by you doing that, you just you just disrupting them and disrupting them and disrupting them and upsetting them. First John five nineteen says. We all originate with God, we, but the whole world lies in the power of the wicked one. And that's Satan. This is Satan's word. And yet the Holy Spirit is powerful to change people's hearts when they hear the truth of God's word. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So I got to preach the truth of God's word to a lot of people so they can hear it and believe it. And there's well, nothing wrong with doing that loudly because the well, Holy Spirit can use well, my well, words to convict them, right? Right, right. What I'm saying is, if you're going to do life saying this, man, you don't want to come to places like this. Yeah, we do, because it's dark. They need the light. And this time of the night. Yeah, because this is when they're busy. And what I'm saying is, I, I, I'm not knocking you for whatever message you want to send to people. You know, nothing wrong with that. But, where is that? You, it's like you, you, you're throwing missiles at people that don't want to hear them. That's like a Jehovah's Witness. When we go out, we go out and put the tracks and knock on people's doors, knock on people's doors. Talking to Colin Mountain, but whatever there, okay, we don't judge anybody. We don't say you're going somewhere trying to explain them to them God's uh, word. That you'll get a better outcome than if we was to go down the street. Everybody got nobody well, no, no, would no, 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 no. want to hear. Who, who are you to say that the Holy Spirit can't use the seeds that are sown here to grow and bring an increase in somebody's heart to bring them to the knowledge of the truth to bring conviction? Because okay. that because the Holy Spirit can do that. I can't walk up there on that property because I'll get trespassed, right? I can't do ministry by talking to them where they are right now. But it would be effective to go up there and walk up, walk up and talk to them, but I can't do that because I, I can't go okay. on the property. So it's good to use a megaphone and the people inside the building can also, they might also be able to hear me when I'm using a megaphone. So it, this needs to reach through walls. So it's, I need to be loud. Okay. I understand that. Right? Yeah. Oh, well, you, but I'm saying, the way you, you're sending the message and this with the bullhorn is like, you're, you're forcing it, to, to, you're forcing it on. And, and, and there's, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing I wrong with- saying, There's nothing wrong with it. But what is going to happen is you're going to cause a, you're going to cause a problem. There's a way you can come to people about God, but you is it at night. I, I mean, yeah, because that's when they're busy. Strip clubs are very busy at night, so I need to do it when they're busiest, right? When there's people well, lined up outside just waiting to walk well, in and commit sexual what, immorality. What, what could have been effective for you, and it probably would have worked if you'd had some brochures and you had your Bible. And show these people you sit here talking. I can't do that because I can't walk on the property without being trespassed. I need to I need to be out here preaching to a lot of people, 
or stand when they coming in or you, you stand on that corner and coming in you have oh, something, something on the floor you can handle yeah that's a that's a good idea yeah, now that that'd be a lot of effective but that you're gonna they, they both can be know. effective and yeah. you should you should believe that jesus is god no is jesus it, is not god he's so, the son of god he is the Son of God, so that God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. No, 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 no. God's so, name is Jehovah. So, so, so Jesus is the, 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 the disciple of Jesus, Thomas. He called Jesus. He said, "My Lord, my God." And, and when he saw the the wounds in Jesus's hands, and so Jesus did not say, "Oh no, I'm not God. Don't don't call me God." Jesus said something to the extent of, "Now you believe. Now that you see." So, 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 so he affirmed that he actually had true faith that he was believing in Jesus and after he just called Jesus God. So if Jesus wasn't God, he would be an unrighteous, I don't know what you'd call him, and he would he would not be a righteous person if he wasn't God and somebody called him God and he didn't rebuke that person. How could so he God, must be God. How could God put himself down here on the earth, kill himself for our sins, and then gonna and then gonna resurrect his own self back up. Well, well, God, God is three persons, so three consciousnesses in one divine essence. So you believe in the Trinity? Yes, and so so there's Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So Jesus is the second person of Triune God who came into the world and took on and took on human flesh, and he was able to die as the God Man. He was punished by God the Father. He what he was raised to new life. He did raise himself to new life. Um, I wish you and, could go. I wish you really to get download JW.org, man, and you will have a whole different. It's I completely know. false doctrine. I I've know. talked to Jehovah's Witnesses. I've and debated then, them. I'm gonna be honest with you. What, what, what? You no, know, what you're talking about and what that's false, man. I'm gonna tell no, you. I'm not. Not, I don't judge it because that's not my job. But I, I know that's the only true religion because it's more no i just show you that jesus is god he said before abraham was i am i am is the name of yahweh uh, yahweh refers to himself as i am in the old testament jesus oh. called himself i am he was calling himself god people knew that he was making himself equal with god so they picked up stones to stone him for blasphemy i'll tell you what, I'll, tell you what and I'm I'll make you a deal when you go home tonight pray to god and ask God to show you the true religion. Show you the true religion. I already know the true religion. It's in the Bible. I've read the you Bible. Ask him and watch who comes knocking on your door. No, you need to believe in the deity of no, Christ. No, no, you're in, you're in you're not a Christian. You're not in the right uh, the right way of you're not in the way of life. You're well, you're you're not I'll under the blessing what, of God. You don't have eternal life. One thing about this app, what I got right here, it tells you everything, and I love it. Jehovah's well, you, you need to you need to get into the Bible. The Jehovah's, Jehovah's, Jehovah's Witnesses have a false no, Bible. They have Jehovah's. a changed Bible. No, they're not. Not at all. I believe it's the, the, the New World Translation. Is that what it's called? That's right. Yeah, yeah, it's been changed. They don't use Yao and D and Thou. Nobody it, talks like well, that. Well, I don't I don't use that either. That's the King James Bible. But th th their their version has been changed. No, and no. yes, brother. And in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. See, I understand. You, you, not a God. He was God. See, he is God. That's why I love this. I love this. I love this. This I love. This I go to my watch out. I can go this. This thing teaches you the Bible. It teaches that little kids. No, no. This the the new a, you can't tell the me new world this. translation is Man. is a tampered Bible. It's been tampered oh, with. Man. It's been changed to okay. fit to fit their false doctrine. Okay. Right. So you're being led astray. No, I'm not. You need to read no. the true Bible. I tell you what. Get yourself an ESV Bible and read it. Bible. I love my God, Jehovah, and Jehovah's been taking care of me for a long time. Buddy. You don't know the one true God. You have a false God. And I hope Jehovah can fix your mind to where you can understand. I understand. You have a nice night, brother, but you don't never see a Jehovah's Witness going around to no clubs and no nothing with no bullhorn doing what you're doing. Well, they, I mean, they have a false doctrine. On, it knocks on doors and show people at the Bible yeah. and try to get them to pray. They you give know, them false doctrine. The people that does that, because the Bible speaks of people standing on the corner with the horns and then loud speakers are talking about stuff like that. You're doing the wrong thing by trying to send a message to God. Nope, I'm, I'm not. I'm, not I'm, you I'm reaching the lost out here. Huh? I'm reaching the lost out here, and you... You're the lost well, too. You, you need well, to come into God's no, family. No, no, no. You have I, a false I, God. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare 
go to a railway, you go to the closest that you just said, three headed gods and all that. He's not three headed. I mean, he's three persons, he, three persons in one being. Okay, well, brother, I'm sorry you have it, you know, kind of like twisted and all wrong. No, you have it twisted and all wrong. But my God, Jehovah, is you know, very powerful. You don't have the, you don't have the true God. You have a false God. My God. No, but you don't. You, I mean, on, you have I'm a false not, god. We're not, brother, we're not going on. Uh, uh, Just keep going. What I tell you, see, the devil walks about and seeks to devour you like a lion, like, like you're a ruined lion to devour you. Now, by you doing that, watch what happens tonight. You're going to keep going after the horn. These people are not listening to you. You're going to make them mad, and they're going to all come after you. Watch what I tell you, and that's not godly. Well, you have a good night. Be safe, brother. Love you. And I hope you'll get your message across. Have a good night. May God bless you with repentance. Okay. Thank you, my brother.